Welcome in Aries, it's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be your relationship spread reading. This is going to be your you versus them reading. Keep in mind, energies can be swapped around. So swap around the characters to make it fit, but don't cram yourself into a reading that's not meant for you. And this is also for any major Aries placements like Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Aries, let's jump in. We're going to start off with the Illumination Oracle deck. We're going to get some cards into how you're viewing the other person, how the other person is viewing you. We're going to dig a little bit deeper with the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, and we're going to get a few more cards into your energy versus your person's energy. We'll go further in with some tarot messages and clarify with the Quantum Oracle, and we will close off with the Archangel Power Tarot cards. So, Aries, let's see how you are viewing your person. <laughs> okay, let's see how your person is viewing you. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get one more card on your person's end. So I think uh, you're waiting to receive a message from your person is kind of what I feel. I kind of also feel you're uh, really trying to draw your person close to you. Bottom of the deck, there is something definitely balancing out. I feel there's been a huge block between the two of you when it comes to a situation. And I think you're viewing your person as hurt. Maybe waiting to receive a message from you. Either way, there's going to be a message sent. There is this energy, I feel, drawing your person close to you. Maybe when it comes to balancing out some past hurt, because I think maybe there is a lot of love here, but somebody has been playing into pride and ego, and I think that's how your person is viewing you. All up in your pride, all up in your ego. Maybe your person is viewing you as quite arrogant, and I think your person knows you're going through learning a major karmic lesson, facing a lot of obstacles and challenges. So you might be feeling like you've been hit with a brick wall of some sort. But there is going to be a rebalancing when it comes to this situation because I do feel this strong magnetic pull trying to bring the two of you together when it comes to some resolution because I do think there's a lot of emotions here and it kind of feels like... Um, the waters have calmed and maybe now would be a good time to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. But somebody's been wearing a false persona. Somebody's been playing into a lot of ego-based desires. And somebody here is definitely needing to learn a major karmic lesson. And maybe you're both learning a karmic lesson. Maybe you've both been hit with a lot of um, challenges and obstacles recently in order for this rebalancing. But I feel this huge block has come between the two of you. And I feel your person's kind of on the rise and you kind of need to take a couple steps further to kind of match their energy. But let's keep going and see what needs to come through with the wisdom of the Oracle deck. Yeah, there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of loyalty here and it can likely lead to a lot of happiness. So let's see what's going on here because I feel this wedge between the two of you and I do think you, you've both been deeply hurt waiting to receive a message whether your person is waiting for you to send a message or you're waiting for your person to send a message i feel there's a need to discuss some past pain on your side aries we get not for you deep knowing round and round so this is definitely relating to some cycles some relationship cycles really going through an evaluation of what's not meant for you. I think when the two of you can kind of meet in the middle, that's when some great fortune will come your way. But I kind of feel, Aries, you're in the process of going into some deep spiritual healing, tapping into your own psychic awareness when it comes to negative relationship cycles, when it comes to your own mystic healing capability. And I also feel um, your person's kind of just been resting, waiting for the fates to kind of take over. And there's a need for some truth to be spoken, some heartfelt, honest, open communication without that mask. And there's that mask. So um, either one or both of you have been wearing a false persona. Somebody's heart has not been fully open. Um, and definitely there's been some abandonment issues coming up. Maybe this person ghosted you. Maybe this has been five years in the making. Um, but it is feeling like a five of pentacles ghosting abandonment um, and this tower energy in order to get you both 
to kind of step into some authenticity. So get ready for a lot of truth to be spoken coming up here. I feel, Aries, you've kind of been going into the depths of some shadow work when it comes to integrating some lessons of what's not meant for you, um, clearing out some blockages, maybe people, places, and things, and really going into um, this high priestess deep knowing. So we got a couple of sevens here, which is the number of the mystic. And I feel maybe this has been a negative, repetitive cycle time and time again within relationships. And there is this deep emotional purge coming when it comes to any false personas, any false masks. And I think your person's kind of just taking a breather. I feel your person's deep within inner reflection, hermit mode, meditation. I don't think your person's really saying too much of anything at all, but something about divine timing. This was definitely a relationship that was drawn to you as part of your personal growth and expanse, an expansion journey and something about timing. Three is a union energy. So um, TikTok, the time is now for some faded destined change, maybe some faded destined communication. Maybe there's going to be a faded uh, meeting that's going to be imminent, but let's keep going here and see what needs to come through on your end with the tarot. We're going to dig a little bit deeper into how you're perceiving your person with the tarot, how your person is perceiving you. I do feel, yeah, it's definitely been a power struggle, a battle between the head and the heart. And maybe some, you know, outside conflicting energies kind of got in the mix and created a lot of drama, chaos, and conflict, Aries, which might have led to a separation in order for the two of you to go and clear some karmic scales. So I feel um, you're kind of looking at your person as this very passionate, fiery energy. And I think you want to lay down a burden with your person, a long-standing burden. We do get the Queen of Wands with the Ten of Wands, so there is a lot of passion here. I don't think you are both in your most authentic energy, and I do feel there was some ghosting. I think maybe your person walked away from you, and they've kind of left you hanging out there in the cold with no communication. They, they definitely walked away from you. And I think maybe this has been a burden that has weighed very heavily on your heart. That's also your energy with the Queen of Wands. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Pisces, but this was definitely a connection as part of your expansion and your growth and as part of you embracing these changes when it comes to these cycles. And I think maybe your heart was guarded. Maybe you weren't fully open to this connection and you had your walls up, your defenses up which did create this internal battle between your head and your heart about are you really ready to open up your heart to love again? Maybe you were deeply hurt in the past, but I feel um, you're kind of waiting for an apology of some sort. Um, there's a lot of heart energy coming through, a lot of masculine energy coming through, and I feel the doorway of opportunity is opening up when it comes to communication, when it comes to um, speaking some truth. So I do feel there's been an abundance of downloads when it comes to the truth of, the, of this situation and the abundance that it can bring into your life. But somebody is needing to gather up their emotions and to take control of their life, to take the reins of their life in order to progress forward. So could be dealing with a cancer. There's going to be movement here without a doubt after a period of no communication, there's been a lack of communication. And I do feel this caused a lot of emotional disappointment when your person walked away from you. And this has been a longstanding burden. I think your person struck you in the heart like the archer. And maybe you weren't quite ready for this expansion at the time, but there is going to be a period of growth movement, um, closing something out when it comes to going towards wish fulfillment. And maybe this was a big lesson in lack mentality, abandonment wounds coming up to be addressed, likely stemming around some childhood trauma, some childhood pain. And maybe you've both been under the veil of illusion, but let's take a, a little bit deeper look at your person. And we're going to see how your person is viewing you, Aries. Three of Pentacles, the Star, ooh, the Devil, and the Queen of Swords. 
they they too have a lot of passion for you um the palace of wands there's likely going to be a chance for a do-over a brand new passionate beginning but it's going to take a lot of honest communication it's going to take a lot of honest communication about any past deception any past you know manipulation gaslighting deluding I do feel you've both been going through a period of healing, sitting in a lot of truth. Um, you know, maybe healing your inner feminine energy. Maybe, you know, you were both not open in the heart space. And there is going to be a conversation coming up here that will likely lead to the two of you working very well together in, in a soul contract. And I think you're both healing some codependent issues. Maybe... You were both playing into an old pattern, an old mindset that was all the way back from childhood. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Capricorn. But I feel this huge uncaging when it comes to any toxic negative behavior traits. Maybe, you know, toxic communication skills. Um, when it comes to stepping into authenticity. Another energy of, you know, complete and total transparency and authenticity. And maybe your person's been going through a lesson in boundaries of cut, of cutting people and places and things out of their life that have created this stuckness, um, this codependent cycle. So could be addictions here, but I feel um, healing some codependencies. I feel there was a lot of passion here. And then you both kind of had to retreat in order to, you know, go a little bit deeper when it comes to some life lessons, when it comes to some past life karma that was needing to be cleared this life. So get ready for a lot of communication. Get ready to receive a message. Your person is drawn to balance the scales with you, Aries. But let's see what else needs to come through with the Quantum Oracle deck. We're going to see um, what your present doubts and fears are, what your person's present doubt and fears are. So um, what is Aries present, doubt, present doubts and fears, if I could talk, with Mercury and Gemini? Um, I'm having a difficult time talking for some reason. So I think you've been all up in your all up in your thoughts about this loving woman. Um, I do feel you've definitely been in uh, a lot of negative thought patterns, going through some negative emotions, kind of working your way through the maze of all of these past cycles when it comes to any, you know, emotional tensions, and you've been playing into fear. When it comes to, you know, wanting a brand new beginning, wanting that blank slate, that, that blank canvas to start over, I, I think you've got a lot of love for this person. And maybe you fear that this is never going to get off the ground. Maybe that's a part of your fear is that, you know, this is never going to come back around again. So you got to get out of those dark thoughts, Aries. You really got to embrace you know, these calmer waters within your emotions. And I feel you're definitely integrating a lot of shadow aspects when it comes to this expansion and consciousness, Aries. So let's see what your person's doubts and fears are. So I think your person might even fear that you have some hidden motivations. Your person's doubts and fears, we get the letting go, the sacred temple, and the playing it safe. So I think your person fears that you're not able to fully close the book on the past. Maybe you're still holding on to some residual resentment and bitterness from a previous relationship that ended. And that's created some blocks. Maybe there's a couple past relationships that you still need to go back through into that maze of consciousness in order to fully make peace and close the door in the past because there's a block and maybe that pride and ego is stemming around a past relationship that you're harboring bitterness and resentment towards because there is a sacred union trying to come in and your person fears that you're just going to keep playing it safe, that you're not going to be willing to set those pure intentions. So I think, you know, if you both can't come forward with those authentic motivations, it very well could lead to a loss of what could have led to a lot of abundance, a lot of fulfillment, a very happy life. There is, you know, a lot of love here. There is a true soulmate pair on the board with the loving man and the loving woman. So, you know, there is a lot of love here. And I feel the masculine in this connection is going through a period of illumination, a heart awakening of some sort when it comes to this new cycle in love. There is a new cycle in love trying to come in. 
but there's a need to address any hidden motivations. Um, maybe your person isn't really fully aware that you want to build a family with them, but I feel get ready for some truth to be spoken. Somebody's at the crossroads. There's going to be an event or a shakeup coming up here in order to let the sun set on the past because I feel if this conversation doesn't happen soon, this ship is going to sail away. So let's see uh, what needs to come through with the crystal stone deck. We're going to get one card on your end, Aries. And then we're going to get a card on your person's end. And then we're going to clarify um, and close off the reading with the Archangel Power Tarot. So... One energy, please, on Aries' side. Expand your consciousness. And an energy, please, on Aries' person side. Feel all of your feels. So, uh, yeah, I think because there's been a lot of love here. And maybe the both of you uh, have been very afraid to really admit just how deep this love is. So on, on your side, Aries, we get... Canvan site, um, which is all about um, supernatural communication. So it's quite possible there is a higher love here, a higher channel of energies when it comes to supernatural telepathic uh, communication. You likely are both psychics or healers of some sort. And maybe you're learning to translate this energy into written or spoken words. But somebody knows it's time to speak up with clarity and straight from the heart. And it might get a little bit weird, um, but I do feel a very mysterious and eternal connection here trying to come together. And I think your person's been going through a period of rest and rejuvenation, feeling all of these feelings. And maybe your person got tempted, got tempted by something lustful. But I feel a lot of energy sensations um, between the two of you. This is a relationship that is anything but common is kind of what I'm feeling, Aries. And, and I do feel a conversation will benefit the both of you. I do feel your person is in this uh, protection energy of really going within, um, really going within the heart and uh, knowing that it's kind of time to move things forward, to release any energetic blockages, to feel all of these feels when it comes to this relationship. Because I do believe a higher commitment here with the lapis lazuli. I feel a deep spiritual connection here, likely linked all the way back to ancient Egyptian timelines and the Old Testament. So you very well could be dealing with a Leo, but there is a past life connection here. And maybe the both of you weren't completely convinced at first because of the intensity. And I do think you both kind of had that armor around your heart. And I feel it's kind of time to, you know, walk forward. I do feel this can lead to a higher level of commitment. But somebody here, you, I feel, Aries, you need to get out of your head space because your thoughts are not your friends right now, Aries. And uh, you got to get out of the mind um, and to kind of ascend these energies is kind of what I'm feeling. So get ready to ascend some blockages. Because um, I do feel it's kind of decision time. It's time to release yourself from any karmic soul contracts. A big, big detox. And there's definitely uh, this unnecessary worry taking place. And our thoughts are constantly manifesting and counter-manifesting our realities. So, you know, um, stressful thoughts are not your friend, Aries. So just keep that in mind. Positive thought processing. Because I do feel a lot of underlying hurt when it comes to these energetic blockages. So I think, you know, you're being asked to take control of your life. To understand that you are the master of your reality. Another energy confirming, hey, your thoughts are always manifesting. So if you want this person to magically appear and to be drawn towards you, you're going to have to be in that successful thought process of, hey, there is going to be a new beginning here. And, and it will be a new beginning with equality and justice. And I think this is all going to go in your favor. So the energy is asking you not to give up because there's about to be an epiphany of some sort, a wake-up call. And this is going to allow you both to embrace some spiritual growth. A light bulb moment and answers are coming. So get ready for a perspective shift. And there is going to be movement as somebody kind of finds their self-control to go after what it is that they want to start this new life, this new beginning. This is going to be a connection that will give your life meaning and purpose. 
So I think you're both kind of in this hermit energy of doing a review of the past in order to release any residual bitterness and resentment when it comes to some past relationships that the both of you are kind of closing out. So um, answers are coming and communication is coming, Aries, and that's what I got for you for your relationship spread. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, please feel free to check out that description box below, Aries, and I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.